So guys, it is Wednesday once again, which means we have another list for you guys. This week's list is top five books that really made us uncomfortable, but we could not look away. Fun topic. <laughs> Anyways, first book on our list is Dreamland. Dreamland is a book by Sarah Dessen, and it didn't really make me as uncomfortable so much as it was an uncomfortable subject matter. Um, it's about this girl who meets a guy, she kind of falls in love with him, but as she gets into their relationship, he becomes more and more abusive to her. And you're reading this book and, like, you kind of get sucked into her world where she's very, like, she's in love with this guy and she wants to be with him, but it's just becoming detrimental to her health physically and mentally. Um, it was a really good book, probably one of the best books that Sarah Dustin has ever written. And, um... If you guys are looking for a good but kind of serious read, check it out because you won't be able to put it down. Next on our list is Burned by Ellen Hopkins. And this is similar to as you were talking about in Dreamland. It's not really the book itself. It's the subject matter it deals with. There are a lot of problems with this book. The portrayal of blanket terming religion, um, alcoholism, uh, the need to have a boyfriend to have a completed life. One of my major issues with this book is that Peyton is going on about how she needs freedom and how she wants to be out from under her father's control and she goes running to Aunt Jay and Aunt Jay's farm and she automatically just needs another man to make her feel loved. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of things about this book make me uncomfortable, uncomfortable <laughs> because it's the same with how in TTYL it's teaching morals and the morals aren't really that great. Mm. And it's also a very dark subject matter with the whole religious cults and alcoholism. And yeah, not a good book to read. Next book on our list is Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Now this is actually a really good book. It's very interesting. Um, basically, um, black people are actually in power, white people aren't. And it's through, from the perspective of two kids who kind of grew up together and um, how one of them ends up, how just how like racial prejudices just get in the way of their lives. And it goes to like the nth degree of extremeness, but it makes you very uncomfortable. It kind of like opens your eyes to kind of what's going on in the past in our real life and just kind of breaks your heart at the same time because it gets very tragic at the end. But it is a very good book, but it will make you uncomfortable and question just things that you kind of took for granted. So we recommend you go read Mally Blackman's Stunts and Crosses. It's not, an, it's not a fun read, but it's a very good read. And it's two sequels. Next on our list is Kane's Blood, the adult version of Project Kane by Jeffrey Girard. And this book basically takes everything from Project Kane, no holds barred, you're gonna see the murder, you're gonna see the rape, you're gonna see just the horrible hijinks that people are up to. And the major, major problem with me, with this book, is just the categories for women. You are either a victim, or you are a serial killer groupie who is turned on by violence. There is no middle ground. We have Castillo, who's or not too a mother bad. figure. Or you're a mother figure. You're a sexy mother, because you always need sexy mothers. Um, the main character, Castillo, isn't, like, he's interesting, he's a good character trapped in a bad book, but Jeff, the whiny serial killer clone, is still there to make your life miserable. So this is a book you should definitely skip. You had more problems with it than I did, but serial killers are your crux. Go take a shower. Go take a shower. Book. Yeah. <laughs> Finally on our list is The Kingdom of Little Wounds. <laughs> and well, we already kind of did an informal review on this crazy, crazy thing of a book. But fairy tale about syphilis. We just cannot get over that. <laughs> fairy tale about syphilis. And this is a teen book. Um, sex is pretty much treated like a bodily function, like you, like going to the bathroom, which is very, a very, very interesting approach. And it, you really just don't want to have sex in this book because it leads to like a, venereal diseases or pregnancy. It's very beautifully written, beautiful prose, but at the same time, it's very visceral and very uncomfortable. And you do feel like you need to have a shower, multiple showers. <laughs> <laughs> Read this book. It is a very good book, but understand it's going to scar you well. That was our list of books that make you very, very uncomfortable, but you cannot look away when reading them. Yeah. Um, Are there any books that have made you uncomfortable that you had to see through to the end? Please tell us. We'd like to know about a few more. <laughs> it's, it's definitely an interesting okay. type of read. 
yes. So anyways, we will see you next Wednesday with a new list. Bye guys.